All right, guys, check it out. We're out with this Hubson uh, X4 Pro, the GPS, follow me, Wi-Fi one. And as you can see, the, the feed here, it's not really, really stable. It's not really, as you can see, Wi-Fi signal, whatever that said, uh, Wi-Fi signal poor or whatever. Um, it's a little bit choppy. Wi-Fi signal is weaker. And as you can see up top, we did have two bars, and now we are just nearing uh, 70 meters, and we are down to one bar on the controller, one bar on the HD next to HD, which I believe is the signal from the cell phone to this. Um, we have altitude on our left, which we are only about five to six meters high, and we are now at 100 meter distance. We are moving at three meters per second tops, um, 3.2. And we can actually see pitch roll and view, or pitch roll and yaw, which is pretty neat. Uh, I've never really seen that on telemetry before. And uh, we're just going to take this out. We're going to take it out to the max range, see what happens, see what it does. Generally, I don't do this. Um, I do trust Hubson, though. I trust Hubson drones. Like, I trust... I don't know. I trust Hubson drones a lot more than uh, I trust a lot of other drone manufacturers. I've had good luck with Hubson drones. So we're going to do a max test here and uh, we're going to see how far we can get right now. We're at 204 meters, 205 meters, 210 meters. Um, and we're getting over here, which is cool. 200 meters on a, on a $100 GPS drone is pretty good, especially Wi-Fi enabled. Um, we are at 140 100 and bam 140 and we're done 140 and we froze up 140 meters it now says not connected and uh as you'll see here in a minute bam aircraft has been forced to return well that's good <laughs> that's good once it disconnects that it it'll actually return and as you can see it's actually gained connection now you can see bottom left uh it's showing an arrow returning to home and i do believe it was dogging itself back to home as you can see it was kind of like fighting backwards and bouncing all the way around myself I didn't trust what I saw on my uh, screen. I am connected to it, so I'm going to figure out my orientation. As you can see, we almost uh, went right into that tree there. Um, I'm going to figure out my orientation and bring it back home myself, uh, which we are basically off to the left a little, and bam, straight straight in front, and that's where we are. So I'm going to fly this back. So that's not bad. Over 200 meters on a $100 uh, GPS drone, which, again, is essentially, this ain't, I, I doubt they meant for this to go the 200 meters. They probably figured it's a 100 meter drone. Uh, we have follow me on it. We have fixed point uh, orbit. And it's it's a feature drone. They probably want you to keep this close and use the features. But I'm J-Drone. So uh, now you guys know. You, you can expect a little over 200 meters on this. And uh, the feed that you're going to get is a little bit choppy. I will test the camera on this because I believe that the camera is actually going to be really good and is going to be really crisp. Um, but that'll be another video. I will also have, uh, we'll have, uh, an issue fix. I had an issue before this flight. Um, it, it said something about regarding calibration and whatnot, and I don't know what it was about because we did pop proper calibration. So basically it'll be a pre pre video of this, the setup and whatnot. As you can see, I'm getting battery warnings and whatnot. Um, and we'll show you how to fix that and hopefully show you how to deal with it. As you can see, the screen froze. Screen froze. Um, and then it cuts back in. So really choppy FPV. Nothing really to brag about. The Google over there that you can't see, I'm using a phone that is not uh, that does not have service on it. If I wanted that Google, if I wanted the Google Maps to work inside the house, I'd preload the app while I was connected to the internet. And I'd scroll through the map in the area that I was going to fly. And that would then keep it in memory. And I'd leave it up and then I'd connect to the drone. And then uh, the mapping feature would work. So that's kind of a trick. That'll work with DJI drones. Uh, basically any drone that you have a map if you don't have uh if you don't have service on the phone that you're using that's kind of a trick that you can do guys i'm jay drone if you haven't su subscribed do me a favor smash that subscribe button if you need help with anything comments down below if you're gonna fly fly safe have a good day and take care